dear learners, welcome to the Learn From Home program initiated by Supplementary Volunteer Teachers Organization. So today, in this lesson, we will discuss about the topic Landforms formed by combined action of wind and running water. Within this topic, we will mainly discuss about the four types of landforms that are formed by the combined action of wind and running water. And those landforms are wadi, pediment, bazada, and playa. In the previous lessons, we have detailed studied about the landforms formed by the action of wind. And in the upcoming lessons, you will be learning about the landforms formed by the running water and the rivers. So, there are four major landforms that are formed by the combined action of wind as well as running water. That means wind also plays the role. At the same time, running water also plays the role in order to shape these four types of landforms. So, now we will discuss in detail about these four types of landforms. The first type of landform formed by the combined action of wind and running water is wadi. As we all know that deserts are dry areas due to lack of rainfall. That means there are many deserts in the world where no rainfall occurs. So, when rainfall does not occur at that time, the land will be dry due to lack of water. But there are some deserts in the world where sudden and irregular shower and thunderstorm occurs. Which means that there are some deserts in the world where rainfall occurs. And when rainfall occurs in the desert areas, at that time, small, small streams, that means uh, the small form of a river or small, small gullies forms in the desert areas due to the occurrence of the rainfall. So, when these small, small gullies occur, streams occur, at that time, it creates a kind of a flash flood in the desert areas. But when the rainfall stops, or rainfall does not occur. At that time, those gullies that are being formed or those streams that are being formed by the rainwater dries up and it forms a kind of a landform which somewhat looks like this. And this type of landform is called wadi. So, let me help you all better understand with the help of a diagram. For example, if this is a sand dune, we have studied in detail about the sand dune in the previous lecture. So, in desert area, if this is a sand dune and imagine if a sudden and irregular torrential rainfall occurred in the desert area, at that time, all the sand and the dust particles that are there in the desert area gets mixed up with the rainwater and it starts flowing downward from the top of the sand dune towards the valley. So when it flows, at that time, the water flows downward and it enters into the valley and it forms a small, small gullies. When the rainfall is occurring, but when the rainfall stops, at that time, over here, the water creates an erosional feature together with the wind. And that feature looks somewhat like this. And this is called wadi. So now, let's understand what is wadi. Wadi is derived from the Arabic word which means dry valley. You can see over here the valley that is created. This is a dry valley. I mean this is the heap of the sands, sand dunes. Between here there is a dry valley and this dry valley is wadi. So let's understand the definition of wadi. The valley 
created by erosive action of rain water due to sudden and irregular showers and thunderstorm in desert areas it's called wadi so i have explained you all before over here you just need to memorize the definition the dry valley created by the erosive action of wind or uh, rain water due to sudden and irregular showers and thunderstorm in desert areas it's called wadi the second landform formed by the combined action of wind and running water is pediment so let's understand what is pediment pediment is highly eroded plain formed at the foot of the mountain or in some bergs due to combined action of wind and running water that type of landform is called pediment as you can see over here in this given diagram this particular landform formed by the combined action of wind and running water is called pediment let me explain you all pediment with the help of a diagram for example if this is a mountain or insulberg either in the desert or the semi desert areas uh, what will happen over here is like during the rainy season the rain falls rain falls and the rain falls on this mountain as a result of which the rain water falls on the ground and it starts eroding it starts eroding at the same time in absence of the rain the wind flows all throughout the year from all the direction it also creates friction or it also creates wind erosion in this particular mountain as a result of which the bigger block of rocks that are located in this mountainous areas breaks into smaller pieces and it slides downward that means the action of the wind and the running uh, water it breaks the bigger boulders or the rocks and those bigger boulder or rock due to the action of running water it flows downward and it comes to a level land where it starts depositing all the small and big boulders of rocks and it forms a kind of a landform which looks like this and this landform it's called pediment the third type of a landform formed by the combined action of wind and running water is bazada as you can see in this diagram bazada lies below pediment and it lies above playa so i will explain you all later on now let's understand what is bazada bazada is the deposition of the eroded materials below the pediments bazada is the deposition of the eroded materials below the pediments when we discuss about pediment before we came to know that pediment is formed by the combined action of wind and running water in the deserts and the semi desert areas when the rain water falls on the ground due to the uh, erosional work of the wind and the running water the bigger particles of the rock or the boulders breaks and it comes down to the level land that forms pediments and these pediments further breaks into smaller pieces further breaks into smaller pieces and is transported and eroded by the action of wind and running water and it is further taken below and that deposits below the pediments and forms a level land with fine finer particles of sand silt and sediments that type of landform is called as bazada 
the fourth type of land form formed by the combined action of wind and running water is playa as you can see in the diagram playa lies below bazada and below pediment in short we can say that playa is a small salt lake present in deserts let me repeat again playa is a small salt lake present in the deserts and see uh, you can see over here in the diagram let me explain properly for you all when the rain falls on the mountainous areas the running water flows and this running water uh, runs to this area it deposits all the pediments and it forms bazada and finally it enters into a shallow land it enters into a shallow land shallow means not very deep and it forms a small lake and it forms a small lake and this lake is saline in nature that means the water that is present in this lake is salty or saline and the base of this lake is muddy muddy means all the sand silt and sediments that are brought by the running water it deposits at the base that's why the base is muddy and this type of land form or a small salt lake that is formed in the desert area it's called playa and sambar lake that is located in rajasthan is a common example of playa in our country india so in this lesson we mainly discussed about the landforms produced by the combined action of wind and running water within this topic we discussed about the four types of landforms that were wadi pediment bazada and playa i hope you have understood this lesson hope to see you all in the next class stay safe stay learning thank you